Hi again everybody, this is Wolf Ranch Homestead. Apologies, we've been trying to get the stream going, but between background noise and um, taking the umbrella off the tripod, just to try to make things work out a little bit smoother. Um, we're gonna try to start streaming now. Hopefully we won't have any connection issues, but hopefully everyone's had a wonderful week. We have lots of hummingbird activity right now due to some of the rain. Um, We've got this feeder with fresh nectar in it, and they've been using it quite a lot. We've got two feeders out currently, but this one, because of the perching space, they're really enjoying. So hopefully we'll get to see lots of hummingbirds come up to it, and hopefully you enjoy, and I'll see you in chat.
we're starting to get some rain again um, so I'm gonna cut this off for right now I think um, geez sorry everybody um, they're not as active as they were but um, appreciate you watching with us nonetheless we had one little visit um, but it looks like it's starting to try to come in again and I keep getting a lot of droplets on the phone here um, so I'm going to go ahead and call this early unfortunately appreciate having everybody here um, unfortunately this older phone it doesn't like to uh, deal with anything especially water wise even though I have a case on it it still tries to get under the case and uh, I don't want it to get damaged at all so we can continue to stream on some of the good days but I um, appreciate everybody coming in and watching and um, hopefully we'll see some more activity on a different day like I said it's supposed to be um, fair rain chances for the foreseeable next amount of time here for quite a few days um so ho hopefully like i said if we don't catch you again soon due to the weather then we'll try to stream at the next available time when it's not so rainy like i said we've got at least one visit here in this little stream but usually it's a lot busier but right now the crepe myrtle is in bloom there's a few trees and the rows of Sharon, which they'll go to, and a few other things are, are blooming right now. So they're pretty preoccupied with that and chasing each other all over. But we will see you again next time. And thank you everybody for watching and wonderful. And hopefully week, your next weekend coming up here. Hopefully everyone has a wonderful time. Um, Again, thank you, Ginger, for the opportunity to try out this really nice feeder here. Again, this is the Hum Blossom by Aspects. We have a link in the description for you to check these out. And I'm very impressed out of the box with this feeder. Very impressed with the company's insert that came with it that tells you to make your own nectar with no red dyes and to keep them clean. Boy, you really don't see people like that. Um, and a company's I guess you'd say approach to that you really don't see that um, telling you to make your own a lot of people will just try to sell you the mix for it so that was really neat the hummingbirds took to it really quickly and they enjoy sitting on the little perch and the unobstructed middle part of it gives us a really good view of what the hummingbirds look like up close and helps us be able to see their throat a lot of the times they will get on the back side of the feeder where you can't really see them and this gives you a really good look at that really easy to take apart and clean um, and all around just a really nice feeder just feels really durable so i'm excited to see how long this one will stay with us we have quite a few feeders that i use that are three four years old plus and we've got some that are newer so i'm really excited and we're definitely going to be getting some more of these towards fall um, I've got it to order with my next online shopping trip, basically, and I'm going to get a few... What? I'm really sorry. I looked down the road, um, and a raccoon just walked across. <laughs> I was, like, not expecting that. I thought it was a squirrel, and I was like, that's a little too big, and it was a raccoon walking across. And about an hour ago, we had a little turkey hen she went across the road so they all kind of know where to go it's really neat to see them but the raccoons luckily haven't been in the bird feeders sorry i know i'm rambling here but um anyways like i said this is a really nice feeder we're definitely going to be using more of them
taken a lot to be very, very still and try not to blink my eyes. Oh my goodness. In the middle of talking. And that was definitely Twinkle. Very vocal. Very, very light colored green back no band on her chest and I could not believe she came up to the feeder just then and I think another female did too and it sounded like traveler up in the tree but oh my goodness never ceases to amaze me I mean she was about a foot away from me and when she first landed she saw me blink and they're very observant to eye movement I've noticed over the years and I had to really just stay still and look down where if I did blink, she really wouldn't notice it. And I was very surprised by the owl. You know, maybe, maybe it'll stay slacked off here. I might go ahead and continue this. If anybody needs to still take off, that'll be fine, but, um, Yeah, I, um, I've been close enough, you know, where they'll land, um, I'm wondering if they'll still come back up while I'm telling this, because I'm trying to stay really still, and I'm looking down where they can't really see my mouth when I'm talking, but when I was a kid, at my grandmother's, she had a really old farmhouse, and she had feeders on the front and the back porch, and she would let them drink all the nectar that they could and when one of them would get low they would all go to the one that was the most full and i would stand there with my hands out because they didn't have perches on them and she had so many of them it was so busy and they would come and they would land on my hand and that was like the best feeling in the world and as a kid that really taught me to be very patient um as an adult i know that that's not the wise thing to do is to try to intrude on them like that, but it was really neat experience and being close to them even just like this is really neat. But it seems like it might stay slacked off, so I'm going to go ahead and keep streaming and hopefully they'll come back up. Come on. I'm sorry. I see you in the tree looking at me. I'm going to back up now, okay? Alright, I'm going to back up so she'll come here. Alright, I see you in the tree. Here I go.
can go back. There you go. I missed him on the actual... <laughs> Man, I had to go back and watch the video. I walked up and I wondered. It looked so small. I was wondering who that was there. <laughs> Sorry about the dogs howling. They uh, like to get going sometimes. And one will start and then it's just woo with everybody. So um, usually you have to try to clap and get them to come back and ground themselves. But um I'm glad the juvenile came back. Wow, that's good. I'll have to look at the end of the video then. Um, I hadn't seen him uh, yesterday or today, so that's that's great. I'm glad he's still here. And I hear somebody chirping right now. Well, come on. But, um... Yeah, anyways, um, in case they do decide to come back while I'm saying goodnight to everybody, I just kind of squatted down here so they could come up to the feeder if they wanted. But um, hopefully, like I was trying to sign off earlier, and um, due to all the rain trying to come back in here, and then of course they started coming up to the feeder really busy then. but. Hopefully everyone's had a wonderful week. We appreciate you joining in. It was good to see you here. Um, everybody that came in to chat and appreciate you being here. That's a different, that's a different juvenile male from the other day. The one that was here the other day looked like he had a good three or four different red patches and he had a single one and you could see the spotting up on his neck higher. That's a different juvenile. So that's really neat. So we've got at least two young males right now. See, then all the fun stuff happens when I'm trying to sign out and get everything turned off here. So that was really neat because I was looking off to the side and um, wanted to make sure that when I moved my eyes back over that I did it really slowly so he wouldn't uh, get scared. Because like I said, when I come and I'm talking to the actual camera here, I'm about a foot or two away from the actual feeder. So if they do approach, then I will immediately stop talking and try not to move my eyes or to make any movements with my hands or anything like that. So I'm just making sure nobody else was up in the trees nearby here. But wow, this has been a good ending here with visits by the younger males. That's really neat. 
So this has been a good, successful time then. I'm glad. Um, like I said, just doing my last check to make sure nobody was in the trees right here by me. But it's been great to have everybody here. Um, next time, if it's a clear day, then I'll try to get the camera down a little bit closer where we can see their up close of them a little bit better. Um, just looking to see if they were in the crepe myrtle tree by chance. I didn't see them over there at the moment. But before I keep rambling for too long here, I appreciate everybody joining in with us while we're sharing our hummingbirds. And I'm so glad. And, you know, I haven't said it yet, but, um, you know, on stream, but man, I really appreciate this life that I have with my husband and I. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to my husband and for all of his support in the many things that I do. Um, the many sorry there's the sound cut off because my battery is getting low here but um, you know I was just taking a moment to say that I'm, I'm really thankful for um, all of this that my husband and I have built up and all this time that we get to spend with our family and you know working for ourselves and doing a lot of things here at the homestead it's so simple and it's so beautiful and you know i'm really thankful over the years to have found She was really watching my eye movement. <laughs> oh my goodness, my knees. From being bent down here and trying to talk to the camera. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, I just, um, I really appreciate, um, this simplicity and, um, the ability to do something like this and just show everybody the hummingbirds and I appreciate my husband's support of all of this and um, I'm really thankful that we get to do so much fun stuff together and just today he was out there at the sawmill and milling up wood cutting some pine logs up for a board for the inside of the wood shop that we're working on and um, it's just simple things like that are so fun and it's taken a long time to be able to find such joy in small things and just to be really happy. And, you know, like I said, I haven't said it before, but I'm really thankful for him. So, um, you know, like I said, just the support behind things like this and the ability to have this beautiful place and, um, all these neat experiences where I 
originally was raised at being in the city um, you know I'd get to visit my grandmother on the weekends and things like that and I really enjoyed being at her farm it was one of the happiest places for me and to be able to go back to that that simplicity and to be so close to all the wildlife that's out here has been just such a true joy um, so even if you know you're in the city or something like that hopefully hopefully you will be able to find time you know on an off day or a weekend or something like that to just go out and visit a park or a forest or something like that take a good hike um, visit a local monument historic area something like that and just enjoy the outdoors and soak it in because there's just something special about being out in nature that really helps the soul and again i'm just really glad to be able to have shared all this um with my husband and we're coming up on almost eight years of being married i can't believe it and it just it feels like it's been no time at all but it feels like it's been forever at the same time and it's always so fun and um hopefully we'll continue to build everything up and share with everybody some of the projects we have coming up and I'm looking forward to a lot of the stuff that we're going to be doing this fall and like I said just a lot of the support we've got such cool projects coming up and hopefully fingers crossed I've been dreaming for years of getting oxen and we are going to try to start building the pasture this year um, and I'm really excited about that and we're looking at a few other types of animals we definitely want to build a new uh, barn area eventually and get back into our khaki Campbell ducks um, right now we've got two goats we've got our duck we've got our chickens but to build a bigger area for them and um, to welcome more animals in obviously especially ones that need a good home and again just thanks everybody for joining along with us you know we do a lot of stuff with the hummingbirds here but um, you know we do a lot of other stuff too and looking forward to when the weather's a little bit better filming some more videos for you all um, thank you again ginger for being here and yeah, I made a short earlier today, um, but we did our first hummingbird painting that we're going to put for sale on Etsy. Um, it's an 11 by 14 on a stretched canvas so that it's got a wood frame where you can hang it up. It's of a black chinned hummingbird and it took quite a while to make and I'm actually going to be editing the video of painting that tonight and putting everything together. So it'll probably turn up, you know, either this evening or tomorrow. And it's about an hour or so of video, maybe, of just the process of painting this picture. So not only will um, all the other viewers get to see it, but whoever ends up purchasing the painting in the long run, they'll have a video they can go back to of where it was painted. There's also a video of the little hummingbird coming up to the theater near the painting. And it was really fun and the plan is to do one of each species on this size of canvas so whenever I paint one I'm not gonna repaint it again I'm gonna move on to the next species and not just the ones that we see here in North America but some of the really pretty South American hummingbirds um, very much look forward to painting the rufous crested coquette I think is how you say that I'm not sure but it always reminds me of having little orange honeysuckle on top of his head so i look forward to painting a lot of different species and hey if you have a certain species that you want to see ginger said the snow capped yeah if there's a certain species that you're really interested in you think that's really pretty um let us know comment on the video and give us some, some suggestions for that and um Usually what I'll do is probably paint the males because they're going to be a lot more brighter colors, a lot more um, more of a look to them, a lot of the colored gorgets and things like that. They're going to have a lot more pop to them that will help distinguish the different hummingbirds. So I look forward to seeing what suggestions you all have for that. Right now, 
the first painting is on Etsy if you'll search Wolf Branch Art and you'll find description information also on how to get to the shop. Um, but what we've done is we put it on there for 50 and that is free shipping. It's not going to come in an envelope, it's going to come in a box and that also helps us just cover um, fees, material, things like that is basically what it is just to cover that. If it was something in person and I was selling it, I would try to go for around $30, $35 essentially. Um, but just to kind of cover everything and incorporate that into the cost, that's what I've got on there for that. Um, and hopefully one day in the future, we are hoping, uh, there is a place that should be opening booths anytime now where we're going to put some things in a craft booth and we'll try to put some paintings there too. But I have rambled long enough here. Again, as always, just appreciate everybody. Thanks for letting me ramble if you watch this and thanks for watching the hummingbirds. Thank you, Ginger, for being here and we'll see you again next time.